Well, hi there, Dr. Newsom here. And man, I've had a rough week. I've had a lot of patients severely stressed out and being you know, drastically affected by the quarantine situation here in the States. A lot of panic attacks and just talking people through all of it. And man, it's, it's been a, a very stressful week for me. <laughs> um, something I wanna talk about here is we're gonna, we're gonna discuss how emotions affect us physically. And I'm gonna use the traditional medicine standpoint, the, and we're gonna pull from oriental medicine in particular. In oriental medicine, uh, we have these systems of acupuncture meridians, okay? And the meridians are associated with different organs, like there's a liver meridian, there's a gallbladder meridian, there's a kidney meridian in a, a bladder, or a, yeah, in a bladder meridian, there's, you know, the stomach meridian, the spleen pancreas meridian, okay? They, and they come in pairs like that. And with, with that, there are specific emotions that, that damage these, you know, negative emotions that damage these, uh, these meridians, okay? And the meridians kind of represent the functionality of those organs in particular. So we're gonna talk about the spleen pancreas meridian in particular, because the spleen pancreas meridian is injured most by becoming hyper-focused on one thing and being all on, you know, engulfed by it. You know, this, this one thing encompassing you and, and just becoming hyper-focused on it. So right now we have people that are, uh, you know, almost watching play-by-play -play updates on their phones or on the news, watching all the progress of the coronavirus in, in all how it's affecting you know, these people and those people, how many people have been infected today and so on and so forth. And that's fine. But when we're focused on it all day long, we're just, it, it has engulfed us. We are encompassed by it. It starts to damage our spleen pancreas meridian. So what does that, what kind of effect does that have, have on us? It is this, our immune system slows down number one. Number two, our digestive function gets reduced. Our production of digestive enzymes gets reduced. The ability of our white blood cells to encompass invaders and digest them gets reduced. Okay, so all these things start to slow down. Um, when you are in that, you know, deer in the headlights uh, scenario where you're frozen, okay, you know, this incoming impending doom or, or whatever that people are feeling with all of this, when, when we freeze, we lose all of our strength. Okay, that deer, when it sees the headlights and it freezes, it gets hit by the car because it has no strength to move. Okay, and this is what happens when we become en engulfed in a situation or engulfed in a certain thought process and uh, we can't get out. Okay, this is what happens to our system. We become the deer in the headlights. And so there are some things that we can do to, to get ourselves out of this. One is, I'm gonna encourage you to do this. I want you to take one minute every hour and focus on the things that you're grateful for. Bringing thankfulness and gratitude into your hour will break that cycle. Okay, I want you to spend 60 seconds every hour focusing on what you are thankful for, what you are grateful for. Um, there's a universal law that says whatever you appreciate, God gives you more of. Whatever you don't appreciate, God removes from you because it's not important to you. Okay? important law. It's an important one to understand. So if we are wanting to break this cycle, break the, the, the panic of, of this quarantine, of all the different things that are going on in our economy and so on and so forth, we need to take some time and appreciate what we have, appreciate who we are, appreciate what God's given us, okay? That's one thing. I want you to do that every hour, every waking hour. All right, I want you to get your water, 
eat good, healthy food. Um, another thing to do is to supplement with digestive enzymes. Get those enzymes in your system. If you're, if you're in this mode and you're panicking and, and you know, it just seems like doom and glooms all around you, we need to get more digestive enzymes in you to buffer the effect that that's having on your immune system, on your digestive system. Okay, we need to compensate by getting more digestive enzymes in your system. So a couple of the things that I'm having my patients do, things that I personally do, is I take a little bit of time um, every half hour or so to just take a few deep breaths. <sighs> you know, just, just take a deep breath, change your focus, and when you're doing your, your time of gratitude, make sure you take some deep breaths. It's super, super important. This will help change your focus. Uh, another thing is grounding. Grounding in, in martial arts, we, we ground, we center ourselves, is what we, we call that. So it's grounding. In grounding is uh, a, a way to visualize that is to grow roots out of your feet right into the ground, okay? In center all of the energy in your body. That is, that is grounding. Practicing that is another way to help change your focus, okay? And we have to change our focus, otherwise, we get stuck. And we get hyper-focused on one thing and that hurts us. So let's practice these things. Let's change our focus. And let's have a great week. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye.